So usually when I have long curly wigs, this is how they end up when I'm in the house doing hashtag mom my things. It's just easier to just bend your head over, grab it, put it into a quick bun and let it go. And then I usually, like I said before, take my fingers and kind of just tug at the back to kind of tease it, to kind of like, you know, cover that nape. And you can take a mirror like this behind the mirror, make sure like the wig cap and all that is not showing. And I think it looks decent like this just for, you know, keeping your hair up. I just want to show you that really quickly. Now back to the video. Guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley, if you're tuning in for the first time. But today we're gonna be doing a hair tutorial with a curly 360 lace wig. This is her here. She has some baby hair in the front. That's the first thing you'll notice. And then the beautiful curly texture. All the exact details I'll get into a little bit later. And of course they are linked and listed in the description box and as you guys can see this is a 360 lace wig when you receive this type of wig you guys can see the lace literally goes 360 all the way around when you flip it inside out this is typically what you will see the benefit of a 360 lace wig is that you guys see the lace goes all the way around with 360 lace wigs you have more in the front for that parting space and then in the back it goes up just enough so that you can like do a high ponytail and it'll almost mimic a full lace wig in certain hairstyles, if that makes any sense. So typically when I want to remove a wig, I will use H2O and a towel. Because I do go for a glueless, non-glue adhesive, water usually will do the trick. You just spray it a little bit, massage it a little bit, make sure you get in there good. Because even if you're just pulling like one strand of hair, if you're doing this often as I do, those each of those strands add up as you guys can see it lifts but it caught on this side which means it needs a little water first thing I noticed is that this wig actually fits snug I want to give you guys a texture shot of this one Now we are ready to customize the wig and this is pretty much what I do for step one. With all 360 lace wigs, um, it is a great idea to go ahead and cut off all the excess lace towards the back. If you put the wig on and try to cut it off, it's literally almost impossible. Um, you can also cut this out here and this is a um, comb. Okay, so now I'll show you the back. This is the comb. You can go ahead and touch it in the back of your braids. And this is how the wig will sit. Of course, you can adjust it, pull it back and pull it down. Typically, I'll put it up and then I'll use a finger and kind of like pull the hair down to cover. And then you can pull out strings and like cut them as baby hair to go all the way around. Okay, so next up for me is worrying about the lace in the front. Now, as you guys can see, they did designate baby hair, and I'll be able to thin this out a little bit um, to make it a lot more natural. Um, it is a little bit more yellow or pale than my complexion, not yellow, but just more lighter than my complexion. So it would do me a solid to go ahead and tint the lace. I'm gonna use my OG foundation. This is the one that typically will work best for me, but I just use a couple pumps in there. It's not blow dry completely, but um, I kind of let it set a little bit. Let's put it back on. Now let's go ahead and decide if we want to pluck, tweeze, um, and then install. So I do like how natural the hairline looks as far as it's not straight across and boxy. It has like nice grooves and wiggles, um, very similar to what a natural hairline would do.
I almost forgot that I was doing a talk through. I'm like, wait a minute, I haven't talked to my girls in a minute, but I went ahead and pretty much did the entire install process. You guys seen I did use my non-glue adhesive linked in the description box i blow dry it on a cold or cool setting until it's dry on this side you did notice it was a little bit more white and flaky that is my fault i went ahead and did a hot setting because usually on the third by the time i get to the third section i'm a lot more impatient swoop down some baby hair which you'll see the result in just a moment we'll both see if we like it if not we'll have the option to change it or switch it out but right now i have that setting while i'll go ahead and style the rest of the hair so today i'm not quite sure what products we want to use today oh no this is something i used to use back in the day i bought this i want to say a month or two ago and I think I have yet to use it. I'm gonna pair this with some good old H2O. This is just water in a spray bottle. You guys know, I love the way this one sprays a nice even mist. This is how it comes out. Ooh! And you guys already know, wet your hair down before you start the process. I didn't even part my hair yet. What am I doing today? Okay, so I went ahead and styled the hair. This hair is absolutely beautiful. Now, product can only take you so far. The hair itself has to be actually nice. The curl pattern has to actually be beautiful for the curls to come out beautiful. Okay, so this is the finished result. Again, I apologize that I'm wearing a dark colored shirt. Oh, I can add some powder and some concealer, right? That's simple and easy. And this concealer is from Fenty, if I didn't say that already. And then for the hairline, I prefer a powder, so. And that's pretty much it but I like the fact that for my non baby hair lovers when you go straight on you don't really see too much of the baby hair especially if I bring this forward but for those of us who love it you know when I pull the hair back and stuff like that I have the vibes going this is definitely gonna be my wig for the week I love a good curly wig and I just in like my last video was talking about how I don't wear curly hair enough and I guess that triggered me to want to start just because I like the way it looks I like that it's a heatless install once it lifts in about a day or two if I continue to want to wear it what I'll do is I'll take and I'll go back in and add the elastic band because this is a frontal I find it easier to maneuver with closures on the day to day if you don't want to bond things down often um, because with closures you don't have to worry about lifting on the sides it's just the center and it's just so much easier which is like my comfort zone so i did not mention this one came from atina hair um this one i don't think i showed the packaging in the beginning and this is obviously the packaging the way it came out it was in a bag like this they gave me a nice note and then um of course wig caps and they gave an elastic band so make sure you check out atina hair hopefully i'm saying their name right the link to this wig is in the description box. I absolutely love her. She's nice and full. We are going into spring in a couple months and you're gonna love this one for your spring and summer looks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Join the family. Also, don't forget to check out the description box. Everything you need to know is always in the description box. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!